Hey all, this is part 14 and we are going to talk about slicing a portion of an array and making a copy. Most of this is just getting us used to the idea of the slice method. Uh, if you remember the substring method that we did for strings, it's very similar to that. So uh, we can slice a portion of an array starting before the first argument to slice and ending before the second argument to slice. So a quick demonstration of that will uh, help us understand what's going on. So here's one where we have an array, a, b, c, d, e, slice of the array, array dot slice from 0 to 2, so before 0 to before 2. So if we run this, we should get a little array that is a and b. Now you want to keep in mind that the return from the slice is an array. So this expression is going to evaluate to an array, uh, but it does not actually affect the array. And we'll have a look at that in more detail in a moment. So here's another example. And for this one, uh, we're going to do a couple of different ways to do the same thing. So the first one is going to be, and let's move this to a second line, and move this to a second line. And what we'll do is we'll comment out, or we'll uncomment each one of those. Um, and okay, that looks a little cleaner. Uh, might leave that as it is though. Probably will. So the array in question hasn't changed. Slice of array 2 is going to be array.slice from 2 to 5. So starting before index 2 to before index 5. Now index 5 would actually be here, basically beyond where the array ends because this is index 4. So essentially what that means is slice the rest of the array, like slice from index 2 to the end of the array, because if the array ends at index 4, slicing to index 5, by the way slice works, gives us the entire array from that point. So let's see this in action. First one will show us CDE, and then it also is proving that we're not changing the original array. Splice does. So slice does not change the array that it's called on, splice does. If you're curious what that's called, this is called a non-destructive uh, method, meaning that it doesn't do it in place. Splice is a destructive method, meaning that it actually changes the array in question, and in something called in place. So, now we're going to uh, show a couple of other different versions. We can always do this. We can always say 2 to 5. But let's say that we just want to cut from before 2 to the end of the array without really knowing how long the end of the array is. We can either just say 2, and it's going to assume that we want to go from before index 2 to the rest of the array, so we'll see that. And the other version is, is that we could say to the array.length. Because arrays are zero indexed, the length of the array will always represent an index that is one past where the array ends, meaning that we'll use that to cut the rest of the array. Excellent. And finally, if we do not pass any arguments to slice, uh, we can make a copy of the array. One of those things where it might come up, this is how you do it. Let's talk about some examples that are a little bit more, uh, you know, they have some context. So we have some altitudes along the hiking trail. So let's say you go to a trail, there's a list of, hey, here's the uh, mile markers and here's the altitude at each mile marker. And so then you could uh, describe today's hike as going from before mile marker at index 1 to before the mile marker at index 4. So if we run this, we'll see that if we're going from before 1, we're going to get 70, and then to before 4 is going to be here. So from before 1 to before 4 gives us this 70, 100, 170. And again, the original array is not affected by our call to slice. Uh, not really super possible to come up with a great reason why we need to make a copy, at least right now. There's just not enough that you know about what we're going to do with JavaScript to create a really solid example of this. Um, well, that's probably not true. I just didn't think of one. So here's a list of vegetables, and then we're going to create a copy of that list. Done and done. Now, let's jump into the coding challenge. There's actually going to be two. One is we're going to use slice in general, the other is we're going to make a copy. So for the first one, ah, we're going to read the problem out loud. 
we are going to complete a function that takes in three parameters, an array and two integer indexes, and returns a portion of the array from before the start index up to but not including the end index. So no trick questions here. Your function should create a slice of array variable and assign it to a call to the slice method on the array, starting from before start up to but not including end, and return the slice of array variable. Below are examples of the code running. Assuming that you will have completed the described function, apply slice. Let's grab our function stub. Let's grab our test cases. Create a slice of array variable. Assign it to a call to slice from before start. So whatever the first argument, that's going to it's going to start cutting or slicing before that, and it's going to start. Uh, it's going to end the slice just before the end index, which is what the problem is asking for. Again, no trick questions. We're not really working on the whole like, oh, you need to go past where we said you needed to go to. Uh, eventually we will though. So return slice of array. If we run this and we get the outputs that we're looking for. Excellent. Let's go ahead and paste this in. Looking good. We are, well, let's not rush off. We are going to complete a function that takes in one array parameter and returns a copy of the array. Your function should create a copy of array variable, assign it to a call to the slice method on the array, which will make a copy and return the copy of array variable. Below are examples of the code running. Assuming that you will have completed the described function, make a copy. You, at this point, very likely know this drill, but we're going to copy our stub, copy our test cases, So create a copy of array variable, assign it to a copy of the array, which we know we can create by saying array.slice and passing no arguments to it. Then we'll return copy of array. Also, if you're in the middle of the line and you want to go to the end of it, you can hold command and hit uh, the arrow key to the right. That'll send you to the end of whatever line you're on. Now if we run this, then we see you know Q and the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 looking good. Let's copy our function, bring it back, paste it into the input window. Achievement unlocked. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.